afternoon everyone and welcome to DIY crafts. So today we are going to be making our very own toilet paper pumpkin. Looks like this. Looks really cool. Um, there are different varieties of pumpkins like this. Some people use string, some people, um, actually some people use string like this, just string like this, or um, felt. But today we are going to be doing this cute little pumpkin with toilet paper. So things that you're going to need. You're going to need a glue gun. You're going to need some scissors, string, ribbon of your choice or not. Um, fake leaves are really helpful. They add that cool little touch to it, but you don't have to have it. It's very optional. And you're going to need a twig. I know, weird. So my twigs are not the greatest twigs today because it's kind of rainy and miserable out and I didn't have the time to find really good twigs, but this is a pretty good one so I'm hopeful it'll work. So you're going to take a plain Jane boring toilet paper roll and you're going to spray paint it orange. Once you have spray painted your plain Jane toilet paper roll and made it orange, you're going to want to cut it into many strips. Um, the thicker your strips, the thicker your pumpkin will be. I kind of like to use a variety of sizes. Um, I've also find that the thicker it is, the more sturdy it is. So it'll kind of hold up to that round shape. So I made mine a little bit thicker, um, probably close to like a half an inch or so, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. So I'm gonna cut them up. I usually cut up about two rolls and I did paint the inside to the best of my ability. Um, doesn't have to be super painted on the inside because the outside is really what you're gonna see. But when you put the pumpkin together, you can see that it is quite holy on the inside. So you do want probably the inside to be painted, but that's up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into those big strips again. Again, you can do various sizes, but keeping them all that one strip is pretty cool. And you probably won't use all of the two, depending on the size of your twig or your stem, but it's nice. All right, so after you cut them, you'll notice that sometimes you'll get the inside that starts to flake up a little. Just glue that down, because you don't want that popping up when you do your final product. So you might have to take it and just put a little glue in there so that when you can make it a nice round shape. So when you cut it again, you gotta flatten it to cut it. You just wanna make them round again. And then you'll adjust this afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little glue in there so it keeps my nice round shape. Same thing, I'm just going around making these all round again. And again, if you happen to get any of these that um, you get the insides that kind of fall apart, just glue it back together. No big deal. All right, so then you're gonna kind of assemble them in the shape that you want your pumpkin. just to see how many you need. You might not want them all, so that's all gonna depend on your stem. So I'm gonna put my stem in the middle, and I'm just gonna see, I think I probably could do all of them and let them overlap a little. I think that'll look pretty cool. All right, so you're gonna leave your stem aside for now. You're gonna take some string, maybe like three to four inches, less than six, more than three. All right. And you're just going to take your string and string all your loops together. Like so. So you can also do this with construction paper. It looks really cool with construction paper. And I can tell you about that after. So you just string them all together and go ahead and tie a knot. 
And once you find that, you can discover whether or not you have too much or too little. So I think, I think this is pretty good because where my hands are, I'm going to be able to spread that out a little. So you're going to tie it nice and tight. Go ahead and double knot it. And then you're going to cut off the excess string. If you do not want your string to show on the inside, you are welcome to use fishing line or something other than jute twine. And then once you have that, you're just going to kind of spread them out. This is like super easy, guys. Spread them out or assemble them in the way that you want it to look. You might have to make some of them round again. You might have to squish some of them together. You might have to get some of them apart. There we go. And this one is not holding up its round shape very well. Okay, there we go. So once you have that, it looks like this. And then you're just going to take your stem and you're gonna glue it right in the middle there. And you can do it off to the side, you can do it down a little, it's up to you. So you're gonna put glue on the outside here. And you're gonna go ahead and squish that right into the center. And super um, hot glue gun dries really, really fast, which is awesome. So now that your stem is there, you can go ahead and shape it a little bit more if you need to. And then this is where you're going to add your decorative touches. So you do want to make sure that this is very much in the middle. You might also see how there's like a gap right here. You might want to take a couple of these and just glue them to the stem if you have that issue. Totally okay or squish it more, either one. And then you are going to take your fake leaf. Mine is much longer than I want it to be, so I'm gonna actually cut it and make it look like a leaf, reshaping it here. Okay, and then all you're gonna do is glue that there, kinda like an apple. But not. Um, the leaf is totally up to you. You don't have to add it. It is just an option. You don't have to add anything. It is totally just an option. And then mine is sticking straight up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And if you have these gaps, you can kind of just move this around and fix it cool part of doing this with string is it allows you to reshape your pumpkin the way that you want it to be um, including if you're if you're getting out of shape here you can kind of just squish them together it's the benefit of using a toilet paper roll it's super bendy you can kind of shape it back to where you want it to be there we go and then all I do with the ribbon Also super easy. Take a piece of ribbon. I'm going to tie it to my stem in a knot. And that's pretty much it. You can cut the ends so they're a little bit prettier. So I usually cut them on an angle. And the other one's already cut on an angle. And that's all she wrote. Super easy pumpkin, just cute little decorations that you can put around the house. Super fun, costs next to nothing to make. I mean, the toilet paper roll you already bought and used, hopefully. Um, the twigs you can find outside. And hopefully you have some leaves. If not, you can make some out of paper. Looks super cool if you make some out of paper. Um, the ribbon is optional, you don't need it. You can also put a little bit of twine on the top and tie that if you want more of a rustic look. So I hope you enjoyed my toilet paper pumpkins. If you make these lovely gems at home, take some pictures, show us how they came out. And if not, I will see you guys all next week for some more pumpkin fun. 
Be then.